Welcome back to Fire Crypto. My name is Chase. Today we're going to do our daily Bitcoin update and we're going to see where we are. So on the daily chart, uh, yesterday's close, we closed right into our 50 day moving average in the green here. Today so far we have an indecision candle as we speak as a recording. Um, that just means, you know, the bulls and bears are fighting pretty equally here. So are we going to close above the 50 day? Um, if we do, right, that would just increase our odds of maybe a potential con uh, continuation up. Um, if we don't and we end up closing underneath, uh, no cause for concern. You just want to be watching uh, the moving averages, a pullback to the EMA 8 in the red, right? Tomorrow that will likely print, uh, right, you know, somewhere around 22.5. Uh, beyond that, you have your uh, yellow uh, EMA 21 day. Uh, and then say we close under that, uh, we have the median uh, Bollinger Band. If we close under all three, then that would increase the odds of much further downfall. But, uh, you know, in an uptrend, right, uh, just healthy retests are fine. So uh, just because you see prices falling doesn't mean we have to go back to, you know, whatever K. Um, we want to look for pullbacks to sustain the rally. So if you want a continuation higher, you ideally you want to hold the EMA 8 on the daily. Uh, or the 21, right? That's ideal. And, you know, uh, to, to remain bullish, right? That's when you hold above the top half of the Bollinger Bands, which is uh, in the purple here. So that is also, if you didn't know, the 20-day SMA. So uh, now you know. Uh, so uh, let's go, go forward and let's see on the bigger picture. Let's zoom out to the weekly uh, and look at an update to where we are. Uh, dang, we are right at our EMA 8 weekly support, which we were rejected from uh, early June. We made a lousy attempt here and then, you know, flush it down, right? So right now we are at uh, a decision time uh, the rest of the week, four days, five hours. We still have a long time to go. Uh, so are we going to get rejected before then or are we going to push up through it? Uh, we need, to, we really need to close above it, right? Otherwise we face a potential of another one of these playing out right and that would you know rinse us to fresh local lows likely if we get rejected uh at close of this week four days five hours so watch for that uh on the daily uh picture for the bulls however if we are managed to you know proceed up where's our next resistance well it's our previous consolidation level which is around right here right uh this is our our next level and that's all the way up at 28 25 ish or so that's about where it starts all these daily closes and extends up to you know uh, maybe 32k um odds of us just blasting right through that are remote at least for the first attempt we're likely you know even in the best case scenario right maybe we just stair step it up here maybe we come back go up a little bit more come back test the ema8 and then you know continue on up right and just continue to test it and go you know reject somewhere in there consolidate for a bit something like that and then we you know make our move you know later on right that that would be the ultimate bull case right uh so you know is that likely i don't know i'm just telling you the first attempt to get through a long you know 30 day resistance zone is likely not going to happen that's just the odds that's all you have in crypto play your odds in your favor um right no one knows what's going to happen so just watching the charts let the news you know, be found in the charts and not on social media. All right, that's probably the best, uh, you know, simplistic advice you could probably get. So looking at one more quick uh, tip and picture in the Bollinger Bands on the weekly, on the monthly, we are now in the monthly. So coming into the bigger resistance, you can see that zone all the way up there. On the monthly chart, we have the 50 month moving average at 25.5. So, uh, you know, assuming a continuation move up, you can also note that uh, the month of May saw a wick down right to that level, the 50 month. So uh, that would be another, another interesting spot around that 26K level. Uh, that is right now exactly 25,582. So right there in the green there. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Uh, also interesting to note that the eight month EMA has crossed over the yellow. And last time we did that was December of 2018. And you guessed it, the bottom. Uh, so I'll leave you with that. Um, a quote of the day, real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. Confucius say. <laughs> Great quotes. Uh, car of the day, McLaren Senna. Amazing exposed carbon fiber. The whole car is exposed carbon. Uh, minus, uh, this is definitely highly custom 
custom. Uh, whoever bought this uh, nice, fine automobile definitely uh, went, went wild in the MSO uh, options territory. I can't imagine. I, I think uh, it's about a $200,000 option additional to you know the million dollar price tag on the Senna uh, to get exposed carbon. Uh, at least it was on the McLaren P1 um, on Manny Koshman's car. I don't know if you guys, if anybody in the cars watch him. He's got a McLaren P1 just like this. Um, got exposed carbon. I think it was two hundred thousand dollar option. Uh, ridiculous. Um, but then you got the custom green brakes and the blue, the blue center caps here. This is uh, odd choices, but uh, I'll allow it because it's a McLaren Senna. Uh, pretty, pretty sweet. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, if you don't like that one, maybe you like white better. Maybe white's your 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 choice of color. Uh, that looks pretty stealthy, right? Uh, just going a, a very calm two hundred. Uh, look at the, the probably the most <laughs> elaborate wing of all time on any car ever. Um, it's like integrated in the rear bumper. Looks like it comes all the way down to the front of the side fenders. Uh, and then, you know, last but not least, uh, the, this is this is more my style. Uh, just uh, looking at this, uh, I love the green centers here. Looks like he's got some kind of his uh, company logo or, or his logo on here. Uh, whoever customized this one, this is pretty cool too. This is definitely MSO, McLaren Special Options. Um, and yeah, which one? I mean, that one's pretty sweet and a lot of most customized, but uh, I like the yellow and the exposed, but this, this is a little rough here. I don't know what we're doing in, uh, you know, Crayola section, but maybe it's for Crayola. <laughs> uh, then I, or, you know, he bought it for his, you know, billionaire, you know, Saudi prince has some nine-year-old he bought this for. And I, you never know um now we're rambling all right what do you think are we going to continue higher in crypto prices for the next couple days or are we getting ready to turn the corner way back yonder down oh i forgot if you're sticking around this long you deserve it um let's go show you one treat here uh the the altcoin market cap right i showed this in my telegram earlier um i highly suggest you you know check that out at least for the free one um the paid one you get a lot more tips and tricks but what do we have here? This is uh, a bearish sign, right? Uh, altcoin market. Uh, and I'll show you why in a second. Couple, couple things here. One, we're outside the past two days um, of the top of the Bollinger Band. So that's already signals, uh, you know, exhaustion, high prices, right? By definition, prices at the top of the Bollinger Bands are high. And not only that, um, right? This is the total, this is everything but Bitcoin. We have a, what's called a tweezer top. And that is often found at the top of rallies. And that would also likely signal, um, you know, the top, right? The tweezer top is known by, you have wicks that go up to the same height. Notice the same height. Um, that would actually signal the end of this rally. And we would likely either be facing a retest of the EMA 8, the 21, the middle of the Bollinger Bands, or, you know, back down this side of the mountain where we started, we're looking, uh, you know, a potential altcoin you know slowdown of upwards of 20 percent so if we come back down here and you know over the next couple of days now you know why um, if we take out this low candle the odds would go way up of us printing fresh lows and you know uh back back to bear back to the bear territory so um yeah hopefully you like that hopefully for the four of you that are still here um you know let me know you stayed and saw this i would appreciate it and i will uh see you on the very next one